for your back it's just a hip flexion and then we are going to do another exercise really important um, and you are going to need rope for it so you bring two ropes two ropes it's supra padangustasana so me i have uh, one that is quite long but it's not going to be enough one and at least i have to just fix it well so this is it me a little bit I let you some time to find your ropes so it's this this kind of rope we need uh, one of it with this thing and another one just uh, any rope it will do and this we are going to measure <laughs> we are going to be lying on the floor and we are going to measure the distance between the hip and the foot and we are just going to bring this this rope in the upper side of the hip and the foot is going to hold hold it down And with the other rope, I will have to uh, attach my foot and just keep it there. But if I want, I can also do this uh, the same way by putting the rope on the on the lower side of my of my heel of my foot and I can be there so the first part of the exercise is just bringing my foot towards me I don't block my knees all I want to do is just bring my foot towards me and the, and the rope in my hip wants to bring it down so what I'm doing I'm re resisting to what the rope is doing and I can help myself with the other rope just to bring uh, my leg in the vertical position and I'm going to start counting by there I'm going to stay with the same action and I give time to my hip to bring more space in my hip joint so in this position what I'm doing I am pushing my heels away from me to unbend my knees and I am pushing the big toes away from me to create an internal rotation in my hips it is a little action that activates the interior of your thighs and you stay there in Subta Padangustasana you don't need for the moment to do more than this you just uh, grab your, uh, your rope and you stay there for the moment both ropes are going to work for you don't block your elbow it's all right
and you take some time there. And what we are, we are going to do next is we are going to bring our foot towards the exterior. Now I think I am too close to the wall to come really down. But it's not necessary to come down. You can just stop there. You can stop there, but what we do normally, if I come towards you, so if I do it like, like this here, what I am going to do is try to be stable and maybe help myself with a brick and try to just bring my foot towards uh, the exterior without turning my pelvis. So uh, the action here is only uh, wanting to come down, holding my pelvis in a horizontal position and come down slowly. So this is what I am doing. I am coming down slowly. I am resisting to the gravity. And the other rope is creating space to my hip. And I try to come down, but I resist the gravity. And I'm going to stay there. It's really, really slowly that this works best. If you want, you can also put the the speed of this video in lower speed than this and you stay more in the posture I would recommend you to do it sometimes even if this uh, can can feel like it's really slow it isn't so if I was if I was um, standing up I was I would do the same thing bring my my leg towards the exterior keeping my both legs really uh, active straight trying to push my my heels on the floor and trying to push my big toes away from me and if if you if you keep your pelvis really horizontal it's not really easy for me but I, because i don't have a, a block now i only have a brick so if you just try to keep your pelvis horizontal it's a, a lot more work for the hip joint and you keep pushing, pushing, pushing your heels away from you. Don't block your knees. And then we come up and we go in the other side. So in the other side, it's, it's the same thing. I try to descend and uh, I try to uh, come down really slowly. And for the moment, I don't want to turn my pelvis. I just want to bring my leg towards the other side, and it's it's all. I don't more. I don't want more from this thing. Supta padangustasana normally uh, is uh, is sense to be really down, but. We are going to stay there, we keep the pelvis horizontal, we resist the descending, we just stop there. You feel a lot of uh, work in your hip. You feel a lot of stretching in the outside of your hip. And then you can come up and, and change your leg. And already feel what's happening in both legs.
feel what's happening in both sides how do your do your hips react how do your feet react and then you will change your leg so you put um, the rope in the other foot and in the other hip over the hip keep the same length try to try to stabilize this it has to be really tight so so my leg can pull my hip towards uh, the back towards the floor and with the other leg I'm going to bring my leg towards the ceiling in the beginning so I, I start there and then when I start facing uh, the, rea the reaction of the rope the resistance of the rope I will help myself with the other rope so I can bring my heel towards the ceiling more and more and it is going to be really slow feel what's happening in your heel feel what's happening in the uh, inner side of your hip and also uh, in the in the down side of the hip in the lower side i have to remember my english little, little by little i will do And you try to bring your your foot vertically over your over your, over your hip. Try to bring your your leg really vertical. This means you need to stretch the back side of your leg also. Don't contract anything in your um, belly, don't contract anything in your respiration as well. And we are going to start coming down. So I'm going to do it a little bit faster than I should. So we come down really slowly, we resist, we resist, we resist. I don't want my leg to come down very fast, I help myself with the rope and I just descend really slowly with my other leg I want to bring my hip very low towards my leg don't block your knees at any moment just try to come down and it doesn't matter how much you come down just feel here when it is uh, necessary to stop in your adductors you feel if it doesn't want to go uh, lower it's because this is short so you don't have to go lower it's it's all right to stop where uh, your body tells you not only it's all right it should be like this and you push your big toe away from you and you push your heel away from you to unbend your knee and not to block your knee and then we are going to come up again so this is I did I do, did it a little bit faster and you come in the other side always trying to keep your leg unbent in your knee really straight you push both heels you push both you push both heels away from you and you continue 
you descend but you don't want to bring all your pelvis in a rotation with your hip it's mostly the hip and you stay there to feel what's happening with the work in your hip you want to muscularly you want to bring your foot vertically up but it's gravity that brings you down so you stay there Well, you take a nap <laughs> so mm, the activity here is to bring your yourself towards the ceiling to bring your foot towards the ceiling and the gravity doesn't let you this is the activity as here we have the same activity i want to bring my foot towards the ceiling but gravity doesn't let me then i will release both so we don't need to keep both legs here and you are going to need um, a little towel that you can roll small towel of your kitchen for example See here i have a towel so you can roll it make a, a sausage <laughs> small it can be small it can be more than this this is really perfect i think i didn't know it's the first time i do it uh, usually i use this this is for um, swimming pools see what it is i cut some some of this and and we are going to put it here it's where i told you before i will show you again uh, well we have a pelvis and we have two bones that come right here and we have um, a space between these two muscles this we should keep it always and this we are going to put it really over these two points if you don't feel that you have these two little uh, gaps uh, you feel that under here there is a point there is a small um, a small bone that you can see so this is the two bones and then you put it right here and we are going to be lying down so so i will bring this with me lying down and we are going to put the buttocks on the wall so if i come really close to the wall and i put this behind these little bones i told you and first thing you should just try to bring your knees towards you it's an another exercise you bring your knees towards you you try to flex your hips without blocking your knees and what we are going to do is we are going to bring both legs in both sides so we can do it really slowly normally we should do it slowly your arms you can just put them behind you and you try to push your big toes towards the ceiling and to push your heels towards the ceiling and you come down really slowly both sides if you cannot unbend your knees in this position you can come a little bit further on the wall it's all right you don't have your buttocks on the wall but you are not very uh, 
you are not very close to the wall it's, it's this you try to be close to the wall but it's a question of it's a question of uh, extension in these muscles if i don't have this extension i show you again if i don't have this extension um, it's not a problem because i can do the exercise being here but i have my knees uh, straight i unbend i don't bend my knees and i come down both sides so this is going to be um, something that will evolve and we are going to bring the buttocks on the wall finally for the moment i am going to do it with uh, with my my legs on the wall and I'm going to come both sides. So it's the same action. I want to bring my legs towards me to flex more my hips. And I come down really slowly, really slow. And it's only my hips that are working here to flex. Don't uh, try to block your knees. Here it's really difficult to block your knees. So this is very interesting as a position because it prepares sitting and it prepares sitting in a in a really good posture of your back. And you come down really slowly, it's all right. From time to time you try to bring uh, your knees towards you and you can descend. Try to be symmetrical. You can stop in any moment. It's not necessary to, to come really down. And you stop where it, where it can stop. And always try to bring a little bit of flexion of your hips. And we are going to stop here. I'm going to stay for a little bit. So you can stay like this and try to imagine yourself like the wall was the floor and the floor was the wall. Your back is straight, you are sitting on the floor, you are preparing Upavista Konasana. The turtle pose which normally means that I should all also come towards the floor but I don't have gravity that helps me I only have my hip flexion that can help me but it's not necessary anyway because I don't have enough enough weight on my on my legs to bring me up if I want to come up And you stay there, you just give time to your adductors to, to stretch uh, very slowly. If you feel you have enough work in here, we can try to bend the knees and bring the feet on the floor. And this is going to be really slow. So if I bend my knees, I need more flexion in my hips. So I bend my knees, I bend my knees, I can bring my feet a little bit higher. And I try to keep the big toes on the floor, on the wall. If I am in this position, 
where I have both heels and the big toes on the floor, I can stay here a little bit more. Imagine yourself sitting on the floor with your legs uh, apart like this and your back is really stable and direct and, and long. Uh, oh, yes, long. Feel what's happening in your breathing. It's really easy here to imagine yourself like in a rotation of 90 degrees. And then you can try to bring your feet really slowly. In Baddha Konasana. So I walk my, my way towards the middle and I, I can stop from time to time to feel what's happening in my hips, in my legs. And at the same time you imagine every, all the time if you like you were seated on the floor. And your back is on the wall. And you come closer and closer a little bit. And down. And you can stop there. This is really beneficial for pregnant women. I think here about my friend who is pregnant. So I want to give her some exercise as well. And this is, this is why I started English lessons, but not only, I should have, I should have started English lessons even before. So you come down and you come towards the middle little by little and you try to bring your knees in a symmetric uh, opening. And once you feel you can come down towards Badakonasana, push your push your heels on the floor, push your big toes on the floor, give time to your hips, flex more. And you can come towards Badakonasana, you put both feet on the wall and then you will come and put the, the feet towards each other and push the side of your of your feet in the wall to bring more flexion in your hip push your big toes the uh, both both big toes are in this action of pushing one another and you Continue if you want. You continue to push the wall with the sides of your feet. So this is a Badakonasana that is not going to harm your back. And you stay there. Give time to the hips to open. You can come uh, lower if you want. And push the feet towards each other and push the wall with your feet. Don't try to push your knees towards the wall. Don't try to push your hips towards the wall. This is going to come little by little. So even if you stop here, it's all right.
and I think it's okay for the moment to stay here. We could have added uh, one more exercise, which is uh, Adha Bada Padmasana in an external rotation of your foot, and and then you try to do a flexion in the other one, but it's not necessary. We are we are okay for today to come down. We 